Hello, my soccer universe. So the AFCON 2019 in Egypt comes to a close. And while the final wasn't all fireworks, the final had at least one thing in its favor that most of the other games did not have. The stadium was almost full, uh, which I was very, very happy to see. I mean, everything was nicely set up there. Uh, they had a the big ceremony at the beginning. Um, you know, the whole setup with the flags and so on, which they had for the other games too. But, you know, it seems just bad if there's a huge uh, stadium that is filled, or at least almost filled. I understand that uh, at the AFCON it's sometimes hard to fill a stadium. And especially if your team, the host nation, got eliminated so early and then, you, and then the eternal rival, in a way, is playing in there. Yes, the stadium was almost... Yeah, at least 50% Algerians. I mean, the uh, from the view's perspective, the right curve was all in white with Algerian fans wearing white and also the light green jerseys that I actually really liked. Uh, when they came out uh, this AFCON, they had darker jerseys, but those light green Algeria jerseys were always a sight to behold. And yeah, a uh, sight to behold was also the jersey matchup, which was exactly what I was hoping for, that um, Senegal will choose to play in green and then Algerian white. I personally like that one much better because the Algeria jersey is that much better. Yes, I like the white Senegal jersey better than the green one, but the green one, um, you know, I like the shade. It doesn't blend in as much with the grass um, and with the yellow on the back gives a an additional color, although within the jersey it looks a little bit off. Uh, but the Algier, the white Algier jersey is the much better one, I have to say. Uh, I don't like this dark green with the Germany pattern on there. Uh, that doesn't quite look right to me. Uh, and the game started quite interestingly. I think uh, within the first minute uh, was... Uh, uh, was it Niang who already had the ball uh, at his feet? Uh, somehow weir weirdly it resulted in a goal kick. Uh, and from that goal kick, uh, the ball gets to uh, Bunaja, who can um, get the ball, uh, runs towards the box where there's only um, Salif Sané uh, waiting. He takes a shot that Salif Sané wants to block. Block he does and it goes into the net, over the goalkeeper. Second minute, I think it was 97 seconds or something like that played. Uh, very, very early goal. And uh, usually you would say an early goal is good for the game. I actually think it did not necessarily help the game. Um, because Algeria is the far more organized team. And this was for me the headline from the beginning that uh, you have Senegal, where you can see with every contact that this is a hugely talented side. However, what they're missing is this cohesion that Algeria is showing. Algeria as a team is much better. Um, the other thing is we had a five-day way to the final and you can, you know, when we said for the Champions League final, we had uh, like this three-week wait and it was not a good final. Uh, seemingly the rhythm was broken there as well. So, um, that's something for my uh, summary video of the AFCON, but I didn't like the pacing uh, at this very end of the AFCON. But yeah, the goal is a word to uh, Bunaja. Um, I think you could make an R argument with this deflection, Salif Sané. I don't think it would have gone in otherwise, but uh, who knows. And then, I think from that moment on, Algerian never looked comfortable, but they largely controlled the game by not having the ball, by just staying uh, together. And um, it helped him in the sense because Figuli uh, early on got a little injured and you could see he's not that full, uh, fully fit. Uh, Riyad Mahrez uh, had his work cut out, you know, Mane and Kuyate were coming over his side, so uh, he did not have much impact on the game, but then he, they didn't need to. It was Senegal's task to get going, and it took Senegal a long time to get going. Um, almost similar to the entire tournament. And I think it was in the 30th when Niang, um, who is tirelessly working, but almost all is futile, he for once took a really great shot that... Um, just missed the um, the goal and went over the bar. 
Uh, that would have been probably a really, really nice goal to win the tournament. But nope, uh, it went um, off. There was, I think, a free kick that Mboli, Raiz Mboli, uh, could save very easily. I actually like Raiz a little bit better because it's on his uh, back of the shirt. But Mboli, to me, doesn't sound as, uh, how to say, Algerian, Arabic. as It sounds more like from... Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, but you know, that's me. I, I personally always, uh, I, I like it. He's a raiz, uh, on the back of his shirt. And yeah, uh, the tactic for the Algier was also clear. Um, disrupt the Senegalese rhythm because when Senegal has a nice attacking move, it's really a sight to behold, but it was always kept to the side and there was always a quick foul and the, Really interesting part is since Koulibaly was out and Salif Sané, yes, he deflected, the, he was his replacement, he deflected the shot. Um, you always had the feeling that for every free kick that uh, Senegal is punting in, 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 into the box, Algeria always got the first to the ball and then the second ball, uh, the rebound was really hard to uh, convert for uh, this, for Senegal. They really had a hard time um, getting or organized or putting themselves in good positions. Uh, even if they were taller, I thought that uh, every free kick was almost a wasted chance. And even if they played them short and tried to get something going, it it did not work for them. It really did not work for uh, Senegal. So it is one nil at halftime, but there was a little scuffle uh, happening. I don't know exactly what that was about. And then the second half, um, I, I actually at first Algeria again was a little bit more on the front foot, but then they quickly retreated to play the same game. It was not a pretty game. You could see Senegal individually more talented as a team. Algeria was working much better, and they kept disrupting uh, Senegal. Um, and so, yeah, there was, a, I think the first real sequence then was uh, when, there, again, finally a nice attacking move uh, coming over the right side of Asaive, uh who makes a cross in and it hits um, the hand of uh, Ben Lamri, I think it was. Uh, Omondi, one of, one, of one of those two, and the uh, referee points to the spot. First replay, you see it. This should not be a penalty because uh, the arm is at the body um, and as much as I would have wished that there was a penalty to get a little bit more excitement into the game not necessarily yes if you ask me I was a little bit more for Senegal but I have to say Algeria was the best team up until that point and I think they were as a team better than Senegal yes yes it was all Senegal controlled most of the game but uh, Algeria said here you have the ball try to beat us and I think that worked very well in Algeria's favor um, so yeah, I I would have wished that the penalty if it was given, given that Senegal has already missed three penalties in the tour tournament, was also not uh, looking, you know, there would have been at least some drama, let's put it that way, but the pen was rightfully taken back, uh, Gal 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 said. And then there were, uh, was, was, was a couple of chances uh, for Senegal, I think, um, was it in the... Uh, you know, um, Diata had come on, uh, I think Indaye um, had a shot on goal that Mboli saved. Then there was another chance, I think, when Yang uh, and, San and Mane had a little bit of a trouble. You know, there was a 10-minute period where I thought, here Senegal needs to score. And then, you know, um, Algeria could hold it back again and really disrupt and actually had then a good chance themselves uh, when a shot of theirs was deflected and Gomis would not have gotten there. I mean, it just did not hit the goal. So, yeah, it was futile. I, I actually really thought of Senegal, as I've said in the whole tournament, they are one of the most frustrating teams because you can see how talented they are and if they um, would have a slightly better cohesion in the squad and especially 
have penetration on the front. I mean, they were really, really toothless on front. And this is a, a team that has Mane, they have, have uh, uh, Nyang, you have Saar, then Dianne came, uh, came on, uh, Diata came on, and Keita Balde came on. I mean, they really put everything forward. But I never had the feeling that they're going to score. I thought this it, it, it might be, if they score, it might actually be a, a fluke goal or something like that. I actually felt that Algeria looked comfortable overall and yeah there was a free kick that was clearly easily cleared um, uh, in the 92nd and then 9 94th the last free kick uh, wasn't you know not a direct free kick easily blocked by Algeria and right after that the uh, ref blows the whistle and Algeria wins their second ever AFCON in the Lions then you have to say because you know there's this big uh, Algeria Egypt rivalry I don't know how um vibrant it is these days i know that 10 years ago uh, it was almost war between those two nations um given that it was played in north africa i could imagine that you know uh, north africans but this is now my <laughs> conjecture north africans hold together but yeah uh there's also quite some rivalry there honestly um when i look at the two teams yes I have more sympathy towards Senegal. However, I think Algeria is the worthy winner of this AFCON. Uh, and I was really happy for Jamel Belmadi, who I kind of fell in love with from the beginning. I love coaches that are so into it. Uh, and as I said, the team, maybe they didn't play the greatest final, but all over, I think Algeria was the best team. It took them forever to get the ceremony going. Uh, I thought, yeah, this. Is, why do ceremonies take so long? Uh, we had quickly that uh, Ismail Benasse, who hopefully will join Milan very, very soon, uh, was the best player at this AFCON. I think is also a um, uh, deserved uh, trophy. Uh, for some reason, Raiz Mboli was the match, man of the match for Algeria. He had to make two saves. One, he, uh, he was easy and the other one he made more spectacular than it needed to be so I thought this was a little a little bit weird um, I do feel for Senegal but you know um, remember the 2015 AFCON Algeria was the big favorite they crashed out in the quarters um, 2017 Senegal was the huge favorite they crashed out, out in the quarters now they met in the final Algeria won it if it goes you know maybe in the next AFCON in Cameroon maybe also a little bit better setting for Senegal itself maybe they will win it uh, the trophy ceremony was wonderfully botched. You could see that the Algerians are not used to winning because now, you know, when Ronaldo had it, he was carrying it over, everyone waiting. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Riyad Mahrez has the trophy, wants to lift it in front of his teammates, and they're already crowding him, and he couldn't lift it. It was really, really a uh, fun scene to watch. It was fun to see how uh, Algeria was celebrating. Um, yeah, it has been 29 years, and Algeria should probably have won more trophies than they actually did. Last thing, because I saw the jersey, uh, Algeria had really nice jerseys at the 82 World Cup where they were actually um, eliminated by Austria and Germany making this dreadful disgrace of Gijon game. Uh, and I'm saying as an Austrian, uh, a sorry for that, but Algeria was the worthy winner of that role, uh, of that um, FCOM. The trophy is small at the AFCON, isn't it? It's very golden. Anyway, let me know what you thought about that final. I will do a little review with... I have a surprise. Uh, didn't arrive yesterday, but I'll get it today. Uh, so let me, let me know what you thought about the final. Um, whether you agree with me that Senegal could have played another 90 minutes, they would not have scored. It looked that comfortable for me for Algeria, despite Senegal really, really trying, but no. Also, would have wished that um, the coach would have made changes a little bit sooner because I saw that Nyang is just getting too worked up without uh, doing much. But hey, again, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the final. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. I will, I will take a short break now, but they will be coming. Uh, I will, uh, I will give you a review of the AFCON. I will probably show you one or two of my jerseys uh, now uh, this upcoming week and then I will start preparing for um, the club season 
with some Jersey reviews, but this will probably take until August or something like that. Anyway, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.